दिस इज श्वेता रॉय योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड टुडे आई हैव कम अप विद द वेरी फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ ग्रेड टेन सी बी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री येस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर अ लेटर टू गॉड सो ब्यूटिफुल चैप्टर विद अ नादर थॉट प्रोवोकिंग ब्यूटिफुल पोअम विच यू विल फाइंड रिलेटेबल टू दिस चैप्टर आई यू सुपर एक्साइटेड टू रीड दिस लवली पोम कॉल्ड फुट प्रिंट्स विथ मी सो लेट अस रीड दिस पोम वेरी केयरफुली एंड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द पोम ऑल अबाउट एंड वॉट इज इट ट्राइंग टू कन्वे सो द पोएम गोज एज वन नाइट आई ड्रेम्ड अ ड्रीम I was walking along the beach with my lord across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life for each scene i noticed two sets of footprint in the sand one belonging to me and one to my lord so the the poet was walking he had a dream that he was walking along with his lord he could witness he could come across two footprints okay two sets of footprints one set was his own and one set was of his lord who was walking just beside him when the last scene of my life shot before me i looked back at the footprints in the sand there was only one set of footprints so it was the last crucial day of his life that means the author was about to you know uh, he he that was a, the last day of his life okay and to his dismay to his shock what did he see just one set of footprints i realized that this was the lowest and saddest of my life times of my life so this moment was the saddest and the lowest time of the author's or the poet's life this always bothered me and i questioned the lord about my dilemma now what was the dilemma let us read through and understand lord you told me when i decided to follow you you would walk and talk with me all the way but i am aware that during the most troublesome times of my life there is only one set of footprints i just don't understand why when i need you most you leave me so the the poet is saying when it is the most difficult and troublesome day of my life the most challenging days of my life you are not there beside me i could see just one set of footprints and then what did the god say what did he reply he whispered my precious child i love you and will never leave you never ever during your trials and testings when you saw only one set of footprints it was then that i carried you so what is the message that the poem is trying to convey we often think we often complain that during the most difficult times god is not going to help us he would leave us just as the poet in this poem but what is god saying that it was the the set of footprints that you saw and that made you doubt about my existence that was uh, actually my footprint and you couldn't see your own footprints why because i was carrying you so god is always there to help those who help themselves and who have firm belief in and firm faith in god how did you enjoy this poem now why did i use this poem because there is a relation with the story that we are going to study today that is a letter to god isn't that title super interesting how can someone think about writing a letter to god we will see very soon with this particular chapter this po- uh, chapter is written by the story is written by g l fuentes who was a mexican novelist poet and journalist and he was one of the leading chroniclers of the mexican revolution now your homework is to find out two to three points about the mexican revolution everyone please do a little bit of research and drop your comments in the comment section about the mexican revolution two to three points this would help you in enhancing your knowledge as well right now his stories are seen as exciting humorous and symbol symbolic of mexico now these are the uh, features which we will also find in this particular story 
a realist many of his work concerned the oppression of native americans he was awarded the national prize of arts and science in 1935 so this is all about the author g l fuentes and now let us go and delve into the chapter letter to god by g l fuentes which revolves around the idea of having unquestionable belief in something i am sure you must have heard the saying uh, which says a faith can move mountains right so unquestionable belief in something this is the theme or the crux of the story and that is what and and obviously the title itself suggests that it is going to be about god right the story is set in latin american country and the main character is lencho the farmer who is the protagonist of the story and he writes a letter to god the title is very uh, it's intimately connected with the theme or the story line or the plot of the story he is seeking help from god from the almighty why because his entire crop got destroyed because of the devastating hailstorm the story unveils events associated with his action with this action of our protagonist so the story gradually unveils events after what like after uh, uh, you know the events with the action of the protagonist right now i have a question with everyone for every one of you please think about this question and please respond your answers in the chat right now i want to see okay when i would be watching the session i would be watching your chats as well and i would be also trying to reply to them so do let me know do you have faith in god honestly tell me give your answer in yes or no in the chat right now i am giving you a moment to think about it think and then answer do you have faith in god and that would lead you to the next question have you ever written a letter to god now if your answer would have been yes i do have faith in god and i have not written a letter to god then why if you have faith in god then why haven't you ever written a letter to god think about it if you claim to be a uh, a devotee of god if you claim to have faith unquestionable faith in god then why haven't you written a letter to god it is a question to be pondered about right i also belong to the same category i also claim to have faith in god but i have never written a letter to god so this story made me think about the reasons about the possible reasons and question my faith on god so think about it and with that we would be moving ahead with the summary of this chapter the story begins with a farmer the protagonist lencho who was expecting rain so that his he was a farmer so this story also depicts the uh you know uh, it depicts about the how the farmers are so very dependent on nature for their existence for their survival so if there is no rainfall the crops would die they would perish right and the farmer would go hungry and he would not be able to feed himself or his family now he is confident that his harvest is going to yield him huge profit just like every year now i have a question for all of you based on the detail of the house's location how can it be best described so uh, based on the detail of lencho's house what how can you describe lencho's house if you've read through the chapter i would also always suggest that please read through the chapter once before attending the session it would help you uh, in understanding the events because we are going to discuss about the value points uh, we would be going into the depths of the chapter right so it's very important that you read through the chapter okay so tell me majestic imposing solitary or unique it is right there in the very first paragraph of the lesson i want your answers in the chat if possible you can also give me the answer in the comment section so the answer is solitary yes solitary is lonely okay his house was the only one there okay it is given in the chapter of the first paragraph 
Now, to his excited uh, excitement, rainfall did happen. He was expecting. He was looking for the signs of the rainfall. If you remember in the chapter, in the in the text, it is clearly given. He was looking at the clouds in the northeast, and he was seeing the uh, for the signs of of rainfall, right? And to his excitement, as he had expected, rainfall did happen. but what was the turning point what was the conflict now story how does a story happen setting rise of action conflict so what is the conflict here and what is the problem here the rainfall turned into a hailstorm so the conflict between the character and nature or his situation there is no conflict between two characters here right now what is the conflict between the character and nature these are the points that you need to think about and note down because on these uh, points the questions can come okay soon it turned into a hailstorm and it destroyed his crop field the damage pose a threat to the family survival so this also depicts how the family of a farmer is dependent entirely on the mercy of mother nature he was disheartened obviously this was a very crucial stage in his life but how did he survive because he had robust faith in the almighty robust is strong faith lencho having worked day and night now he is described as an ox of a man ox of a man means hard working please note all of these words anyways i would be discussing the vocabulary with you but please take a note of all of these things and he used to work day in and day day in, uh, day in and day out but he also knew how to write which means he was a literate man now he decided to write a letter to god now why did he write a letter to god because he wanted to he had no other option he had no where to go he trusted only on god and he wanted help from god so he explained his situation to god and he wrote a letter to god this speaks about the unflinching faith in the existence of god in lencho you and me we never thought about writing a letter to god because somewhere down the line in our mind we always have this question would our letter reach god so again we are questioning on the existence of god right but lencho did not have that question so this talks about lencho's unflinching faith in god very important character sketch of lencho a point for the character sketch of lencho right and then a uh, postman saw the letter and then when he saw the letter he was taken aback obviously if you consider yourself at the place of postman and you see a letter uh, which is you know addressed to god you would also be surprised the postman never had seen this kind of address in his entire career he did not know what to do and then he went to the postmaster and showed it to the postmaster postmaster's immediate response was bursting out in laughter but again he became serious okay and then he after becoming serious he understood that lencho had a deep faith in god and he also wanted to inculcate the same faith in himself like you and me right now we are also thinking oh my god this man has such a great faith in god we how can we not have this kind of faith strong belief in something remember it was because of this faith that he had in god he did not break down during his time of crisis he still had that belief that somehow he is going to survive and god is not going to uh, make him die god never uh, uh lets people die of hunger that is what he also mentioned if he would not have had that faith he would have perished he would not have got that strong will so faith is strong enough to move mountains right and we can see that in lencho as well now what did the postmaster do he with the help of his colleagues and uh, colleagues and he himself also contributed a part of his salary and collected 70 pesos how much money did 
Lencho asked for 100 pesos. How much money was the postmaster able to collect? 70 pesos. And what did he do next? He put that money in an envelope, addressed it to Lencho and he signed it as God. Why did he sign it as God? Can you tell me? Because he did not want to, he did not want that faith to go away. He wanted to uh, restore that faith of Lencho in God. That is why he want, he signed that letter as God so that Lencho would think that the money came from God. You could be asked this question as a two mark question. So very important. Then Lencho visited uh, the post office next Sunday. The postman gave him the envelope. Now obviously when the postmaster is giving him the envelope, the postmaster also is a human being. He would expect that Lencho would be happy to receive that, right? Because, you know, 70 pesos he had collected. So he was expecting happiness. He was expecting uh, gratitude from Lencho. But what was Lencho's reaction? Very ironical. He was angry when he counted the money. Why? Because the money that he had asked for was 100 pesos and he received only 70 pesos. Then, in, an, in anger, he again went up to the window, asked for the ink and the paper. He replied to the letter, put it in the mailbox. Now, what will be Lencho's reply? What do you think? Think and answer in the comment section or in the chat. Till then, also do let me know the answer to this particular question. Pick the option that lists the options corresponding to with a blow of a fist. So, Lencho... He put the envelope, he pasted the envelope with a blow of a fist after, you know, putting the gum. So, what do you think? Which represents with a blow of a fist out of the four options that you have? Okay, so I hope you all have given your answers. So, can we have a look? Yes, it is option number four. So, this image represents option 4. Fourth image represents this one, right? Fourth image represents with the blow of a fist, okay? So, these would help you in understanding the phrases and the words very carefully. So, that if you get any questions, you would be able to answer and not get stuck, okay? Now, the postmaster took out the letter and read it. See, the postmaster eagerly took out the letter and read it. What would be the postmaster's anticipation he would think that there is something positive in the letter right but the story has an ironical ending why because the letter said god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i need it very much but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. And then he signed it by his name. This is the irony. Because Lencho, though he had unflinching faith in God, he lacked his faith in humanity. And he actually never went and checked who is sending the money to him. Because he had that strong belief that it is obviously coming from God. And he also thought that God can never make this mistake of sending him less money. So maybe the rest of the 30 pesos which he did not receive, the post office employees had cheated on him and they had taken away the money. They had stolen the money, right? And so ironically, um, Lencho is blaming those very employees who had contributed in restoring and reaffirming Lencho's faith in God and also helping him financially. This is the ironical ending and this story is open-ended, open to your level of interpretation. So now you can tell me your inputs on the ending of the story in the comment section. Everyone, please try and write about the ending of the story because you could be asked anything on the ending as a part of your value-based question. So what was the most likely response that the postmaster expected? Expectation of the postmaster. Just now I discussed, right? So what do you think the postmaster would have expected 
in for, from lencho's second letter sorrow gratitude disappointment elation or shock i am not asking you what he got the expected response is the question please make sure you understand the question please let's respond in the chat everyone okay let us check yes it is 2 and 4 gratitude and elation obviously as i told you the postmaster had contributed at least uh, you know with the help of his employees 70 pesos so he was expecting some uh, elation is excitement or you know happiness from lencho and gratitude thankfulness from lencho but ironically now what is irony irony is basically the difference between expectation and reality so expectation of the postmaster was gratitude uh, happiness from lencho thankfulness from lencho but what was the reality he blamed those very people to be uh, crooks so that is the irony if you do not know irony please understand irony because you could be asked a question on the ironical ending you could be given the definition of irony and be asked how is this story ironical how has it the uh, an ironical ending so irony is the difference between expectation and reality okay so this is the vocabulary guys uh, take a snapshot of the vocabulary very very important okay i would try and give you the pdf session uh, pdf of this in the description box very soon i would be uploading so don't worry okay so crest dotted downpour intimately ex exclaimed regarded now regarded over here is thinking in a specific way sorry uh, regarded is actually thinking or considering but here uh, in this chapter regarded is used in a different context regarded is looking at the uh, corn he was regarding the corn so it uh, corn field so he was looking at the corn field okay draped hailstones resemble exposing etc now points to ponder about this particular chapter this is very important please take a screenshot of this because from here you get a lot of questions okay this if you understand this you will under you have understood almost 90% of the chapter right so points to ponder firm faith in god gives him a hope in his despair that is very very important this lesson talks about faith right and what happens if we have strong faith it gives us hope otherwise lencho would have you know broken down during his time of crisis okay because he was left with nothing at that point uh, if you relate to the poem that we read uh, that i read out to you the time of testing and trials and tribulation so if you lose hope if you lose faith you would break down right and but obviously god is always there he's omnipotent omnipresent omniscient and as uh, lencho says that god can listen to even whatever we say in our heart deep in our conscience okay so in the poem also which i read out to you he said that i was carrying you in your times of trial and tribulation right so i was i am always there with you okay so uh, we believe that people should have such kind of faith and attitude in difficult situation we should always remain strong and have strong faith that yes this too shall pass you must have heard this this too shall pass so bad times will pass good times will definitely come and we should try to think about a possible solution to of uh, to our problems right now this chapter also restores our faith in humanity after reading the story we can understand that there are still people who help others without self interest for example the postmaster right he had no self interest in helping out lencho but still he helped him because he he wanted to keep the faith in god intact in lencho so they are an example they are actually messengers of god so we do not need to seek for uh the existence of god externally god resides within us they are present in all of us and anyone can be a messenger of god during uh, the time of our difficulty so help could come in terms of anyone 
so it could be your parents it could be your teachers it could be your friends who help you in time of your need they god has sent them for your health so they are the messengers to god okay this act shows that true picture of humanity and motivates us also so when we look at lent uh, when we look at uh, the postmaster and his employee we are also motivated and we also see that yes humanity still exists right so this is something which is very very important and now i have a question for all of you which i want to i want you to answer as a homework okay now the homework question is if you were in the place of the postmaster would you have helped another person after lencho's response what was lencho's response blaming those people who helped him right so after knowing this after witnessing this or encountering this incident would you still help others if yes why if not why not this is your own answer please feel free to write anything of your choice i would love to read your comments in the comment section okay so thank you so much for watching that was the first session with you all i hope you liked the session we would be coming up next with the next chapter and the question answers we would do after two chapter explanations okay we would merge two chapters and do the question answers together that would be a practice and revision also for all of you right so stay tuned please feel free to connect with me and don't forget to hit the like button share the video amongst your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel we would be coming with more and more lessons only and only for you guys thank you take care signing off bye bye